Hello everyone, I'm here today to do the mid-year book freakout tag. I had to look down in order to remember the title. Basically what this tag is about is to talk about the books you've read so far this year in 2016 and there are some questions to go with it. So let me just start with the very first one which is best book you've read so far in 2016. I have read I think a handful of amazing books so far this year but if I had to choose one single book that was the best one then it will have to go to A Spool of Blue Thread by Ann Tyler. I read this on my Kindle and I loved it so much that I had to go out and buy my own physical copy as well. It is a book about family and it is about a story that unravels so that you don't really know what is going on in the beginning but gradually you will learn what is really going on. It's a very beautiful story and I was very much impressed by this novel. And the second question is best sequel you have read so far in 2016. The best sequel I have read so far in 2016 has to be The Summer Garden by Paulina Simons, which is the third and final book in the Bruns Horseman series. There are some divided opinions about this series, but I personally love it. It has made an impact on my heart. Whenever I think back on it, I smile and I I just I feel happiness. It is about Russia during World War II. It is a love story, but it is also a very brutal story, so it mingles a lot of different elements. A new release that you haven't read yet, but that you want to read. I recently went to London and I got my hands on some new releases that I'm obviously very eager to get to. One of those being Smoke by Dan Villetta. Supposedly this book is about a world in which your feelings come through through smoke. I don't really know how that works but I'm very eager to find out and this book is definitely going to be read in the very near future. Most anticipated release for the second half of this year. Now I have a video going up very soon about some new exciting autumn releases here in Denmark. Obviously some of those books on that list is going to be my answer for this question but I can tell you that The Girls by Emma Klein, I think she's called, I will put a picture up here, is one of the books that I'm very eager to read in the upcoming half of this year. This book is already out in the English speaking part of the world so you might have already read it but it will be out here in Denmark very soon and it's one of those books that I'm very eager to read. Then we have Biggest Disappointment. For me, that book has to be Bleak House by Charles Dickens, which I didn't even finish. I read half of it and then I had to give up. I had so high expectations for this one. It is Donna Tartt's favorite book. It is a lot of people's favorite book by Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is a very well-known and well-loved author and I really wanted to read it and love it, but I just couldn't get through it. The storylines were too many. The story in itself was not interesting at all to me. I was confused most of the time while reading and I was not enjoying myself. Then we have Biggest Surprise and this one has to go to Stephen King, November 22nd, 1963. Now, I started reading this just because it had been on my shelves for the better part of four years, I believe. I was actually on the verge of getting rid of it, so I was like, no, let me try and read it and see, maybe it will be good enough to read. So I started reading and it was really good. I rated it five stars. It is about time traveling. A man who is able to go back in time to the era of John F. Kennedy and he tries to prevent the shooting of John F. Kennedy. It has been turned into a TV show. I still haven't watched it, but I'm most definitely going to check it out. This is more like a thriller by Stephen King. It's not horror so if you go into it expecting horror you're not going to get it but i think that's what i really liked about it so i definitely recommend it then we have favorite new author debut or new to you i have already mentioned this author and that is ann tyler i have now read about two or three of her novels i think and i've loved each and every one of them she is a very underplayed author meaning that her stories are very simple but there are so many layers between the lines that I really admire. Her stories are about family relations 
And that's it, but they are just brilliant. Number eight, newest fictional crush. Now for this one, I don't have an answer because I don't find myself getting fictional crushes. I of course love some of my characters, but I wouldn't call them fictional crushes. Then we have newest favorite character. And for this one, I wasn't really sure what to answer just because it's again that thing with me not really connecting with I don't know how you can explain it, but I'm not taking the characters with me normally. But if I had to choose some favorite characters, then I think they will have to be part of this book. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Some of the characters in this book are hilarious and so endearing. And that's what I remember from this book. So I think I will have to go for this one. A book that made you cry, I rarely cry while reading. It's mostly from watching movies that I can shed a tear. So I have decided to change this question a little bit and make it into a book that made you scared. Because for this one I have the perfect novel and that is 1984 by George Orwell. If you have read this book you know what I'm talking about. It's very scary, it's very accurate. And that's what's so scary about it, I think. A book that made you happy, and for that one I have The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, a young adult book about summer, about friendship, about growing up, and it is so, so endearing. I loved it, and it put me in the perfect mood for summer. Question number 12. Most beautiful book you have bought or received so far this year? Now, this one I was 100% sure about. Mischief collected Short Stories by Phil Weldon. I will let the book speak for itself. It is simply beauty in a book. I love it. So, so stunning. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? And once again, I will refer to the video, which will be up very soon, about some upcoming releases that I'm very excited about. But I can't tell you that Zero K by Dun DeLillo is on that list. And it's one of those books that I am very interested to read and see what it's all about. And that leads me to the very last question, which is your favorite book community member. This changes all the time. I have so many people that inspire me to read, that I love to hear from, and I love to follow their reading habits, etc. But at this moment, I will mention a blogger, and that is the blog called lonesomebreeder.com. The man behind is called Eric Carl Anderson, and he's the reason why I have been buying a lot of books lately. A lot of new releases that I hadn't heard of, but he made me aware of them. And so far, the ones I have read have been amazing. So I go to his blog whenever I need inspiration or just to be aware of what is going on in the book publishing world. And that is it for this tag video. I wasn't tagged to do this and I'm not going to tag anyone to do this. So basically, if you want to do it, then feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was interesting to you. And until next time, happy reading.